Hey everybody, it's Chris Palmer here again, and today we're gonna build a sandbox for me. No, for the kids. Here are the materials you'll need. Step one, we're gonna find a good spot in our yard to build the sandbox. Then we're gonna go ahead and frame it together. I'm using three inch screws on the corners just so we have more secure hold. The lumber size for the base of the box is a two by 10. I recommend for this or a two by 12 because you wanna have a good height so you can put a good depth of sand in it. So we positioned our box in an area that we feel is pretty level, not too many high points, not too many low points. It makes everything a lot easier when setting your frame into the ground. Heavy lifting's over. Now it's time to put the box back in place and lay down our landscape fabric. Now once your box is all perfectly leveled, we can go ahead and lay our landscape fabric. So the key with the fabric is we want to have to come up a bit and wrap around all the edges, but we don't want it so it's visible and above our sand line. So what I'm going to do is come about two or three inches and then cut it off and then tack it in place with staples. So we're just dropping the sand in place to hold the seams down so there's no blowing apart. Keeps it all nice and flat and then we'll really backfill it in. So we've left the sand away from the corner and pulled back the landscape fabric because in part two of the video, I'm gonna show you how to build a nice shade structure. So by leaving these corners out, it allows us to put our bracing in here. So digging it out and banking the sand against the board gives us a double reinforcement to keep the board nice and straight. So once all the sand's in the box, then all we'll do is put a nice little perimeter bench on for the kids to sit on and play. So for anybody at home who's not building a shade structure, you won't need to take this step. You can just basically take your boards and run them straight across and screw them down to the frame. But if you're gonna do what you're gonna do in part two, which is build a canopy, you need to notch out for a four by four. So taking your two by six bench board, you're gonna make the notch of how wide this is, and then you're gonna line it up to the back of the four by four to know where your depth is. Taking these two marks, you then make them meet into the corner and you're gonna remove this part. We've just finished putting our dry fit of our seat in. So we have all our bench seats in. We've notched out for what we're gonna do in part two of the video, but now we're gonna go make some bench supports. So we're just using scrap two by four that we have laying around the shop. Probably get the majority of them out of one eight foot piece. We're gonna do four support blocks per side of the bench and each bench is eight feet long. So we're gonna put a little six inch line here and we're gonna notch it and we're gonna cut it up on a 45. Since we're making about 16 cuts, I've set up a stop block here so I can make the same piece every time. So we're installing our blocks. We're going a foot from the corner and then basically every one and a half to two feet just to give enough support on the bench. These are all they are. And we're screwing through the back of the boards here, through the back with a three inch screw into the block to give it that reinforcement. It'll make plenty of strength to hold the bench so the kids can jump on it if they really need to. So wherever we have cut ends, we wanna make sure that all the untreated wood now that's been exposed is retreated with a cut and seal. Well, there you have it, folks. The benches are on, the blocks are in, and we're ready to go on to part two. But for any of you who are not going on to part two, I have one last suggestion for you, and that's adding a corner block. These are good to add structure to the corner of the seat and to hold the corners of the box together. So cutting a piece on a 45 inside cut on both ends, we simply take these ones, we slide them under the seat, and we pull them up so it gives support on these joints. And we screw in through the box, and screw down into the seat, and that'll lock everything together so that way if anybody's playing extra hard on the corners, those joints aren't weak and we have good support.